You're disgusting. Stop doing that. Hi, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Pocha. I decided to make my first YouTube video a Q&A because I feel like that's the best way of getting to know me. I did post a question thing on Instagram and I had a couple people ask me questions. So I'll be answering the questions on here. The first question was... What's your favorite show? My favorite, my go-to show, all-time favorite is probably the Golden Girls. I love watching the Golden Girls. I absolutely love watching them. But from the shows that are right now on TV, I'd probably say um, Teen Mom or The Challenge. I, I'm hooked on The Challenge. Plus, the last episode of Teen Mom, not this last one, but the other one, Uva Putazos. It was so good. And the challenge, I'm just really hooked on it. I don't know why. Hot or iced coffee? Definitely iced. I only like hot coffee if I make it at my house in Anoya. But if it's from the coffee shops, it has to be iced. And I usually go for caramel macchiatos. What's your go-to makeup brand? Um, I'm not really a makeup person. I mean, I really like makeup. But I'm kind of like a pendeja when it comes to putting it on. So I kind of stick to the to the more natural looks. But I would say Wet n Wild. I really like Wet n Wild because their stuff is affordable and it's good shit. Like, I, I really like their foundation. It's good coverage and I think it's like $5. Some, somewhere around there. Are you having any more kids? Definitely not. I think one is perfect. One is enough. I can spoil him. I can give him all my time. I can go to all his games when he's older. Plus, they're a lot, a lot of work. I honestly don't know how I haven't gone crazy with him. So, yeah, no more. Are you getting any more dogs? Fuck no. No, no, no. No more dogs. Uh, the, the ones I have are driving me fucking crazy. They make a mess and they're just bad. They're bad, bad, bad. I literally have to take them on a walk every single day. If not, they rip my stuff. Do your dogs make a mess when you leave? Yes, they do. Me rompen pañales, they rip my toilet paper, they rip my shoes, my chanclas, everything. They're terrible, I'm telling you guys. Like, I, when I first had Lola, she would make a mess. So I was like, I'm going to get her a partner so they can play together and not, like, rip so much stuff. Well, it was the worst idea ever. I mean, I love Nacho, don't get me wrong. But now it's, like, double the mess. They make a huge mess. What's your favorite part of being a mom? I honestly wouldn't be able to pick. I love everything about being a mom. I just absolutely love being a mom. I feel like being a mom is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I, I love, love, love being a mom. Pros and cons of having kids. The pros are definitely that you always have someone there. And you're never alone and you will never be bored. And just being a mom in general is awesome. It's amazing. The cons would probably be that you will no longer get sleep. Like you sleep here and there, but you never sleep like when you didn't have kids. I miss my sleep so much. I will, I'm a huge sleep person. Whenever my son naps, I nap too. But yeah, definitely sleep and not being able to get up and go whenever you want like before. Do you have a best friend and who? I do have a best friend. I have two, my mom and my sister. It's mostly my mom, though. She lives, like, down the street from me, so she comes over every day. And um, I tell her everything. She's, like, my go-to person. I feel like once you become a mom, you appreciate your mom a lot more. I feel like our relationship, our relationship has always been good, but when I turned into a mom, our relationship got that much better. And to be honest, I feel like my son got us all close, like brought us all closer together. I don't know. I, I love my mom. I don't know what I would do without my mom. What's your favorite thing about your dogs? Probably that they don't shed, honestly. I love them to death, but I'm a fucking OCD bitch and I like to be cleaning here and there. And um, yes, I do get in a bad mood when I clean because I'm like, fuck, you know, what the fuck is this doing here? Pick this up, pick that up, clean right here, clean that. 
It's probably, it would probably be that they don't shed. I love that they don't shed because I love my dogs and I treat my dogs like my kids and I let them on all my furniture. And honestly, if they were to shed, I'd probably be going crazy because of all the dog hair. And I'm a person that loves to wear black, so me and dog hair do not get along. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is definitely anything with seafood. Anything seafood, I love shrimp. Probably, probably mariscos. Mariscos are my thing. Pavi, aguachiles, anything. Honestly, anything that has to do with mariscos, I love it. If you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? Definitely my health and my boobs. I hate having big boobs. Like, I hate it. I hate it. What's your favorite thing to do? Anything that includes doing spending time with my son, I love. That's like... My favorite thing to do, I love spending time with my son. But besides that, probably tanning, outside tanning. I love outside tanning. I love being in the sun, even though it's bad for me. I can't help it. That's like one of my favorite things to do. How long have you had lupus for? I have had lupus since I was 11 years old, and I am now 27, so that's 16 years. That's a long fucking time. I've had it for 16 years. And then there's another question that you guys asked that what's my biggest symptom? Like the most common sim symptom I get. It would probably be fatigue. Today, like today I was so tired. I honestly didn't want to do anything, but I had to go buy um, my dog's food. They ran out of food, so I had to go to Target. Speaking of... Every single time I go to Target, you guys, me pasa algo. Siempre. It's like, I I love Target, but every time I go, me pasa algo. Like, I'm gonna, I am gonna, need to make a fucking YouTube video of, like, all the stuff that me pasa. I could seriously write a fucking book. Anyways, it would be fatigue. Today, I napped with my son. We took, like, a three-hour nap. And I still woke up tired, and I'm still tired. The energy it took me to actually want to get up and do this video was a lot. It took a lot of fucking energy for me to do this. I seriously didn't even want to get up today, but I felt bad for my dogs. They didn't have food, and I didn't want to give them any more weenies. I gave them some yesterday. I usually always just get tired, and it's, it sucks. I hate it, but... What's something you can't leave your house without? Chapstick and candy. I hate having chapped lips and even looking at people with chapped lips. It's so, it's disgusting to me. Like, grab a chapstick, grab Vaseline if you can't afford a chapstick, and candy because that's what I bribe Ivan with. I don't care if it's bad. Si no me entiende, he fucking hears a rapper, he says, sientan chinga, because he knows I'm gonna give him a candy. And then when I'm hungry, me chingo un dulce and I'll trick my stomach. My son just opened my door. This is my son, Ivan. He was eating Oreos. Don't think he's dirty. Don't think I'm one of those nasty ass moms that fucking anda bien arreglada and her son is full of mocos. No, that's not us. It's just that he likes to do his own thing when we're at home and he does not like to get bothered. No quiere ni que le agarre la mano when we're walking. He thinks it's independent. But when it comes to wiping his ass, he sure ain't fucking independent. If you could date a celebrity, who would it be? Oh my God, I used to be obsessed with Justin Bieber. Pero como que se puso como feyito, huh? I don't know, I don't really care for him anymore, but if I could, or um, I would probably be Christian Nodal. I think he's a cutie. If you don't know who Christian Nodal is, he's a guy that sings, Adios, amor, me voy. I know I suck at singing, but that guy. How did you meet your boyfriend? Pinches chismosas. I met him at my friend Janet's house. He was there with his girlfriend at the time, and... I think he went to go drop something off for her and she introduced us and we and from there we became friends. We didn't stop dating right away. I think we were friends for like five years, four or five years, I don't know, but I met him at my friend's house. Are you guys getting married anytime soon? No. We are engaged, según pues. Um, I don't even feel engaged. Honestly, it feels the same to me. Probably because I haven't done any wedding planning ni nada, and that's because I don't think we're gonna get married. We really wanted to at the beginning, but I feel like if we do get married, I would lose my medical, and I do not even want to... No, nothing that includes losing my medical, no. I, I'm scared, honestly. It scares me a lot because I really need that. 
and no I, I wouldn't want to risk it do you ever miss the single life and going out um no i don't i feel like i got it all out of my system so now that i'm like juntada i don't really care for it i mean i say juntada because practically casada because you know mexican moms or mexican families when you move in with your boyfriend that's your marido ya te casaste i don't give a fuck what you say um, I could go out, but I choose not to. First of all, I don't like leaving my son. I feel guilty as fuck leaving him. Like, I'd rather not go out. And then one time I did go out and I got drunk. And then I had to come back and take care of Ivan the next day. And it's like, oh my God, taking care of a toddler or a baby at the time and being cruda is worse than going to work cruda. Like, oh my God, it sucked so bad. That day, I told myself never again, and I have not gotten drunk since. So definitely, no, I do not miss it. What's your biggest pet peeve? Definitely fingerprints on windows. I cannot stand that shit. And which is funny because now that I have a son, I have little human fingerprints all over my car windows, my house windows. It's so fucking annoying, but I cannot keep them clean. Who taught you how to cook? My mom and YouTube. For the most part, my mom. But usually when my mom is at work and I have something like laying around and I want to make it, I'll just YouTube how to make this and it'll pop up. And I don't always get the exact recipe that they use, but I'll use like some of the stuff that they do, that they use, and then I'll throw in some of mine, you know? But for the most part, uh, they're my mom's recipes. I write down my mom's recipes in a book so that way I don't have to be bugging her and um i make my stuff how often do you spank your child as often as fucking needed sometimes it's up to five times a day porque no me entiende he is so bad you guys like i know when i post pictures and videos of him he looks like so cute como que no quebra un plato but no he's fucking terrible and this is just the beginnings i'm not even in the terrible twos yet so i don't know what i'm gonna do What's your favorite book? Definitely Sunday at Tiffany's, guys. You guys gotta read Sunday at Tiffany's. It's my favorite. It's like a love story. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go read that book. How often do you get your infusion and does it hurt? Um, I get my infusion every four weeks, which is basically every month. I get it once a month. It doesn't hurt. Well, at least it doesn't hurt me anymore. At the beginning, it would hurt because it would sting when it would go in my vein. But I feel like now my body is used to it, so um, it doesn't really hurt. The only thing is sometimes it does make me nauseous and I can't eat nothing the whole day because I feel like hungover. But um, at the beginning, it was really bad. I couldn't eat anything. I was sick for weeks, days. But now, um, now I'll usually just get sick for like a day or sometimes not even. I'll be fine right after or now I could even nap through it. Like I don't even feel it. So um, it's every month and I, it takes like three hours because I have to get there and I have to take um, like Tylenol or something. And then I have to wait 30 minutes and then they have to mix my medication. So that's like another 30 minutes and then it takes an hour to for the whole thing to go into my body and then I have to wait for another hour to see if my body get, gets like a reaction out of it because every time you get it, it re, your body reacts different. So I do have to say for an hour afterwards. So it's three hours. I used to be able to get it at home, but with all this insurance thing, my insurance changing, I can't anymore. I have to go get it. I actually haven't gotten it like in two months because of my insurance. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for asking, you guys, and thanks for watching me. This is my first YouTube video, so um, be nice. Bear with me. Um, I obviously had to film it in my living room because this is the best lighting I could get. And you could probably hear my dogs in the back through the whole video or my son because they don't fucking listen. I tell them something y les vale madre, obviously. They don't care what I say. But thank you guys. Subscribe to my channel. 
Um, I don't really know how this works, but I think... I honestly don't know what my YouTube channel will be about. I think it will just be about random stuff. Mostly about what happens to me because siempre me pasan cosas, you guys. I swear to God. Anyways, thank you guys so much.